All right, good morning, class. Story number two for today. Our story is called Sheep Take a Hike. And what we're focusing on this week are what are some things that you can take on a hike or you can notice on a hike or different places that you can go when you take a hike. And when we are reading our story today, we're going to brainstorm afterwards because it's gonna help with our writing today. We're gonna to brainstorm some um, things that we take on a hike. So right here, we have our paper. I can brainstorm what I need to take on a hiking trip. And we're gonna go over a couple and then I'm gonna have you guys figure out the other two, all right? So let's go ahead and read our story. Sheep Take a Hike by Nancy Shaw. Illustrated by Margot Apple. Morning's here. It's warm and clear. Sheep load up their hiking gear. Compass, whistles, drinks, snacks, go in packs upon their backs. They trot along a hiking trail. So here go our sheep. Up the hill and down the dale. Trees and bushes soon grow thicker. Where's the trail? Sheep bicker. What does it mean to bicker? <laughs> okay, bicker means to kind of argue and quarrel or fight. So it looks like because they're lost and they can't find their way, they're having a disagreement as to what direction they should go. Sheep squeeze through the trees. Sheep rush through underbrush. Thorns dig, prickers snag. Sheep zig, sheep zag. I don't know, they're real worried. Fog comes up, the ground feels damp. On and on, sheep tramp. All right, even though they're lost, they're still moving along. Sheep stomp into a swamp. Mush, gush, boggy tracks. Yuck, muck, soggy backs. Blub, blub, sloppy packs. Glub, glub, gloppy snacks kind of reminds me of the week we're going to have next week because it's Dr. Seuss week. It's going to be lots of um, sounds um, from words. The compass sinks. They're in dismay. How can they ever find their way? Oh no, there it goes. They look real worried right now. Sheep climb out of the slime. Ooh, look at them. They are filthy. They look around, and soon they find... What do you think they found? It looks like they found some of their fuzzy um, fur or wool. Woolly fuzz they left behind. Think that might help them find the way. Sheep won't stray. They've marked the way. Now they're on the hiking path. Hooray! What more could they want? A bath. Sheep trot homeward. Rain pours. What a day for the great outdoors. Looks like they're enjoying being at home once again. All right, so we talked about how the sheep um, are exploring and hiking, but there are some things that we require, that means we need uh, to help us survive on this hike, to help us get through. Um, so there were some things that they were discussing in the book, but we can think about what are some things we would need if we go on a hike. Okay, so let's look at our uh, graphic organizer. All right, so what would you take on a hike? 
So here's one thing I thought of that would be very important. I think we should take water. Oh my goodness. We're going to be thirsty. We need water. It's very important, okay? We could find water out there, but I think it'd be um, a lot easier if we take fresh, clean water with us. Another thing I think we should take would be food. Food is super important because what happened if we got lost just like the sheep? We would need food, right? Although there are some berries and stuff out there, but just to be safe, we should take our own food. All right, so what you're gonna do on your paper is you're gonna fill in your water and food on the top, and then you're going to fill in two more things that you would take on a hiking trip, okay? And like I said, this graphic organizer will help you with your writing because in your writing, you will write to me in a couple sentences what you would take on a hiking trip, all right? Bye guys, I'll see you later.